I'm looking for a nice perfect seal fit, I should say, or seal actually. It needs to slide on here and hit the back and actually no play back and forth on this here surface here. Which I had about eight thousand, six to eight thousand to play on this here backing plate with this taper. And uh, I recut the taper and then I had a uh, surface this to get the fit better, then I had to resurface the uh, taper and then I had to recut this here because I went a little too much with the taper. That's real no movement right there. That's really good. Just kind of a little bit right here. It's not hitting. It's only hitting a little bit right in there. That might be for me actually. Uh, yeah. It's not deep enough yet. more off the back to make it so it sinks in there so the taper ramps up.
No, no, it's too tight. I think that'll work. Yeah, we're hitting all the way around now. Got some some of that blue in there, and I think that'll be pretty good. And we're touching the outside also, but I think once I put the lugs in, I lock it in. It draws it in a little further. It'll be nice. It'll it'll pull it right up on that. Uh, it's right, it's there now. I mean, it's in the back and it's up on the taper. There's no clay. And very rarely, barely any light on the back side. Yeah, it's right up against the back. There you go. Yep, that's it right there. Clean. <coughs>
ebulição. Ó. Okay, it's hitting. You can see it's all blue on the inside, all the way around. And it's hitting here and here and here, which I only have it dabbed around the around the chuck. A couple of places. So. And I know it's on a solid surface, if it's on the taper, it's solidly on that taper, the way it should be, not like before, if, it, if, it, if it's loose on the taper, then what happens is when you tighten the lugs up, it pulls the chuck either way, uh, and uh, you know, it, the whole thing runs out. And uh, you know, if that's running out five thousandths and you grind the jaws in, then um, next time you take it out and stick it in, you know, it, it moves a different way and, it, and then it's, it's, all, it's out again. So um, you got to you gotta get it set perfect on the headstock first. Now, once that's running true and you know it's on the taper, it's solidly on there, now it, you can set up a, a two post grinder and grind the jaws in and then this will be perfect so which I'll check it for trueness right now anyway uh, before I even go to the grinder I always stick a, a, a nice um, ground rod in here and see how see how far it is off to begin with I mean it, it might be <laughs> within one thousandths right now and uh, don't even need to do anything so all right but that's how you that's how you repair a chuck that's not seated perfectly on the headstock flange here I have my indicator set up and you can see oh, let's see if I can get it there all right you can move it in and out so it's it is touching the chuck let me see if I can get a better angle here. I don't know if you all going to see that, but... I mean, it, I have it set on 80, and it, it's perfect. I mean, I mean, there's a couple little nicks in there, but that is dead on. I mean, if it moves a little bit, it moves maybe a tenth or two but that's, that's good so so the whole chuck itself is running true and now it's just the time let's just see if we have what the jaws are running okay now that I have it set up on a on a uh, gauge um, cylindrical gauge block basically is what it is it's all ground surfaces and uh, now that this is true, my my jaws are off by ten thousandths, and you can see it. Let me, let me run it. So now. The next step is basically grind the jaws and that's it. Then the headstock is perfectly true. The chuck is true to the headstock. And now the jaws will be true to the chuck.
But I have a video of a quick video of doing grinding uh, tool posts. But there's other videos out there. I might do another video on on doing it here. I'll see if if I have the time. But uh, but that's it. All right.